All right, so today I want to see how a fog machine works. I'm going to take this guy apart. Um, as far as I know, it looks like most everything is in the back half here because the front half is for putting ice. Um, the ice is supposed to cool the fog down so that it's uh, less dense and that it's low hanging as opposed to being hot or warm and going up after it exits. I don't have any ice in here now, but I have it plugged in and I want to show you what it looks like when it's working. So here we go. <laughs> Pretty nuts. All right, <laughs> so um, that's what it looks like, and it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna unplug it now. Um, it's really nuts with the lights off and with uh, uh, some other crazy lights and like lasers going. It's 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 pretty sweet. I'm gonna get right to this. I'm gonna take this apart, and we'll see how it works. I don't I don't know what to to what to expect. So this is looking a lot simpler than I thought. We had the uh, liquid fog uh, reservoir. Uh, it, it comes into the machine here through this little weight which sits in it. And then into this tube, which goes to a little pump, which sits right here. From the pump, it goes into this copper tube, which then is rooted into this mass of Teflon tape and what looks like cotton balls. It might be asbestos or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, this is what looks like the heater. Uh, there's a little thermal regulator here that sits on top, which must go off when it reaches a, the high enough temperature. Uh, and it switches it off so it doesn't overheat. And there's a little backup one underneath here, which uh, is attached more to the case side. Probably so it prevents, uh, it's the like preventing your house from burning down thing again. Uh, the only exit to this, uh, this heater here is the copper pipe on this side, which is just as tiny as the input. Now I would have expected the fog output to be a much greater diameter than the input, but not so, it's the same. So this superheated fog liquid is coming out of this tiny pipe and it's mixed right in here, right at the exit of the output port here, going into the ice area. There's a little case fan, like a computer case fan, that sits right here. That's the only other input into the duct, which then gets narrows down and then the fog is added in right as it enters the ice area. It's actually a lot simpler than I thought. So for a quick overview, the fog liquid comes into the machine via that little pump, and then it goes into a little heater core, which heats up the liquid and turns it into a vapor. Uh, it comes out of the heater and then it's mixed into relatively cooler air. And in that cooler air, the vapor condenses and it forms what's essentially a cloud which comes out of the machine. And that's what you see, the fog.